Hi, Downey Church friends. All right. So this week, while I was thinking about the children's story, um, I was it was really impressed on my heart that I should talk about being courageous. I think I needed to hear it, and I'm sure there are some of you out there that might also need it. Going to go ahead and share my screen. All right. So be courageous. Uh, in life, there are always something that we're looking for. There's always a milestone that we want. When you're an itty bitty baby, it's you need to be able to drink milk and, and to breathe for the first time when you come out of your mommy. Um, and then you get older and we want to see that you can sit and that you can start to um, roll over or crawl and then eventually you're taking your first steps there's all these really cool milestones that for mommies and daddies we just get so thrilled about when we see our kids reaching those milestones um, and when we're testing kids at the preschool level we're looking to see can they stack blocks can they what sorts of things can they do um and then they get older and oh, now they can do the big kid puzzles. And so now we're doing the 30 piece, 40, 50 piece puzzles. Um, and then as they're older, they're maybe in middle school and now they, they're really into those um, a million piece Lego sets uh, that they build. I just don't know how many of the little itty bitty tiny Legos they use, but they're just, it seems impossible for them to finish. I know my nephew did one and it took him quite some time to get it done. Um, and or sometimes when we're adults and, you know, we are going through college and, you know, having to go through college is really challenging or a university or just to get a degree. It's really hard work. And then we graduate and we're excited. And now we have this huge debt that we have to pay. We're like, oh, I have 10 years to pay this off. Um, and then and now our new task or new target or new focus is now I have to pay all this money off. And then once we're paying that, we decide, oh, I really want a house. I want a house for my kids or for um, or to start a family. And then you sign up for 30 years of making house payments. Um, and then that seems like an impossible feat, 360 payments. And then you try to send in a couple extra bucks whenever you have the time um, or the money, the extra money available. Um but that's just life. There's just always something that we're shooting for and it is hard work. But I want to remind you that despite all the hard work, uh, there's always, always um, a silver lining to it. I'm thinking about Moses and as he was taking um, the, the Israelites out of Egypt and that their silver lining, I mean, they were going through the desert. They didn't have a home. They were going through so many hardships as well. But they had God in the form of a cloud that was traveling with them, giving them nice shade in the desert during the day. And at night, a pillar of fire, you know, that was keeping them warm. Like, how awesome is that? And then once they finally got their temple going, there was that cloud there again that protected them. It's just, there's always a silver lining. So keep your eyes open for that through the hardships or whatever struggles you might be going through. Um, and I also wanted to share a couple of Bible verses. So here's 2 Samuel 10, 12. Be of good courage and let us be courageous for our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what seems good to him. So more encouragement there from the book of Samuel. Second uh, Timothy 1, 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love and self-discipline. We can keep on doing this. We got this. And the last one, Deuteronomy 31, 6, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God goes with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. So um, friends, just, I know it's hard. I know there's a lot. It's so, so busy all the time. I know it. I, I'm living it too. Um, but I just want to remind you, and I feel like God really just wanted to remind all of us to just be courageous, keep pushing through, and keep looking for those silver linings because there's always some. And enjoy life and take some time to breathe and to just live for a bit. All right, let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you and we praise you for being such an amazing God. 
Thank you because you always know what we need and you always provide. Thank you, Lord, for always providing for us. We are just so eternally indebted to you, Lord Jesus. We love you so much and we thank you that we get to call you our father and that we get to choose to worship you this day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Take care. Bye.